What's up everybody, this is Hillbillies here, and welcome back to episode 34 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. We are up here today on top of the mob farm, um, looking down at the world here. It's looking pretty good so far. Of course, you know, so many things to add. Sky Wars up there still. And right away, do not worry, I am not going to be redecorating anything or anything like that. You know, no, I don't have to... That, that stuff has kind of been worked on a little bit. Um, and some of the stuff you saw even, I kind of had to change a whole bunch of that. But it looks so much better so but first I kind of wanted to show you I did I made some little changes in here in the mob farm I am having some technical difficulties of course because uh yeah I actually I don't even really know 100% to be honest with you uh, like everything works pretty good I added some glass now and I got rid of that spot there so they stopped landing on it, it wasn't very often but it still happened a lot um, some you can see survive because they hit the vines there uh, the vines are placed there so that I can actually get up there but most of the time they they do die uh the issue though that i have been having and it's been, it's been interesting um as you can see in the very center normally that wasn't like that let me see i put some water onto it see if i can get into flow um originally that was a piston i decided you know i want an xp farm as well as a mob grinder so i put a piston there it would extend up and the mobs would land on it not die and then i could kill them i turn it off piston goes back down and all the mobs die again and it worked great I could stand here, you know, if I get too close, the creepers will notice me and probably explode. I found that if I change these to iron bars, they don't, so I'm probably going to have to change that again after. But, um, I decided, you know, uh, like most of them, I think it was basically the ones on the first floor that would survive. Because they'd fall the 24 blocks, they'd hit the other, or sorry, they'd fall 23 blocks, actually, and survive. Because the piston was extended at the time. Um, but the only problem is, I have... The piston, when it was there, no mobs would notice me. Like, creepers would sit there and sit there forever in this, if I let them. Um, but all of a sudden, like, obviously pistons right now with the TU-20 are very glitched, and uh, it's hard to get them even to stay up in the direction that you want them to. So, what's been happening? I switched it to a small thing of water, so that all of the mobs would survive. But now, whenever that happens now, like, any creepers that are in there... If they get shot by a skeleton, they instantly explode, and they ruin everything. And yeah, it's been really annoying. So guess what? We're not going to work on that today. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, but here, I've got... Uh, let me put some of this crap away, and at the same time, you can see it's been working quite well. Like, I've been so happy with it. It's been amazing, like all the extra gunpowder and stuff. It's just been stupid. Um, and I've been enjoying watching Ethos Labs videos and seeing him with, like, he's got a gold farm and an ender farm, and, you know, he's going to probably eventually make an iron farm, and spider farm, and everything like that. It's just crazy, so i got to get some stuff like that and make this world a lot easier to work in. But, yeah, you can see, basically, it's come down to here because this is going to be another project. Um... I want everything to always be, you know, easy and accessible, so I'm going to put down, like, a minecart track in here, so that I can get around, and oh, goddamn creepers everywhere. <laughs> Probably should have lit this up a little bit better. There we go. That should be okay for now. Um, but yeah, this is going to be another minecart track that leads off of my subway room that you've probably seen built before. Um... I did change it up because I changed all the rooms up and I was like, this is driving me nuts. So I had to kind of revamp everything. I increased the size of the room. So this is the center now and it's equal on both sides. I like this, how it's symmetrical now. I should probably do something about that though. That kind of looks weird. I should fix that. It's because of the other side and I'm going to show you that in a second. But yeah, uh, that leads to the end, or a stronghold and the end, I guess. That leads to the storage room which I also show you guys because I have finally filled it up and added all the stuff and maybe I should go do that right away very quickly before I show you all the extra long tedious work and the many hours that I sat there doing all this stuff uh, obviously this if I was not standing inside here right now and I was walking towards it it would be extremely laggy like all of these item frames and all of the chests and everything in this tiny room like um, the room, the building itself is actually only 14 by 14 by 14. And a chunk is 16 by 16 by 16. So, within this chunk, it's, like, horrible. So, until I get an Xbox One, it will lag forever. But when I'm up here, it doesn't. So, as you can see, I basically set it up, like I said. Uh, the first floor is structures. Then it goes second floor, tools and weapons. Third floor, 
Ah, sorry. <laughs> the third floor is food, as you can see, um, that I'm on now. And then it, it goes down into a basement level where you see the rest of the stuff. But I've placed almost every single room. Like, these ones, um, technically, this is all of the food. But I'm going to, you know, maybe add some extra stuff that's not on the list. Because not every item is listed in that. So you can see I've got the tools and weapons up here. But I decided, you know, actually, no, everything fit perfect in this room. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, same thing with this room. This is all the, like, kind of building materials. Down here is, there's some levers and activation, like redstone type stuff. Um, there's boats and the books and everything like that. And here's all of where I can go and get... Uh, if I want some diamonds, oops, if I want diamonds or like lapis and all that, I can come up here, uh, then I go down again once more, this is kind of the basement level one. Basement level two is the decorations, I guess you would call it, because it has all the different colors of the wool and the dyes, and then you come over here and you got the carpet, and, um, I set this is kind of like, since it's kind of decorations, I guess, I use like, you know, the tall grass, there's red rose, there's going to be uh, yellow flowers there, and all the different kinds of, um, bushes that you can get, and vines, and things like that. Uh, this room, I have not really done anything yet, it's supposed to be all the clay blocks, but I don't have tons of clay yet to fill it up with, so that's another project, and this is kind of an extra room. I would like to dig down too because I have tons of dirt and cobblestone, so I'm going to um, build one floor that's just made out of dirt, one that's made out of cobblestone, and that will be those rooms dedicated for that. But yeah, uh, now I'm going to show you the major changes. Like, uh, the past two episodes you saw, I was redecorating and working on stuff. Well, I kind of changed it. So give me a second to actually go back to the top into my barn so I can do like a proper come uh, entrance and back into the caves you can see the difference from before okay so we're here on the barn now and uh, as you can remember this the first episode this is where I had changed all the windows or added all the windows I should say um, I found that was a big improvement I'm still really enjoying it but then you saw me working on that on the room downstairs and changing it to wood and all that but that's been changed again as well as you can see I have an access to the second floor here this is where you'd come to do all the brewing and stuff you've seen that before and the enchantment room. that was stuff that I'd done in the other episode but then the second episode uh, you know I added the wood kind of tunnel going into my uh, you could walk through the wood tunnel and then you end up in the bedroom and then off to the right was like the furnace room but I found that the stone just really didn't fit so I've changed everything so this used to be the tunnel that basically walked into the bedroom and over in this corner that's still technically the bedroom like those are still the signs for where the dogs were or who named the dogs uh the jukebox has always been over here and that such thing so i just kind of changed it so you saw that it was the bedroom and then you turned right and here's the furnace room but it didn't look right having the stone and everything and i figured you know what i'm underground it should look like underground so that's what i did i added some nice walls i i like the stone i find it just kind of keeps it looking under i guess <laughs> again underground and it goes well with some of the other stone. I find it weird though with the lighting due to the fact that there's uh, half slabs and there's the staircases and those are half slabs as well. Like light I find is weird with them and I'm not I'm no expert with how to set that up. So that's kind of what it looks like for now. Um, then outside I did a little bit of stuff here. I fixed the staircase out here and added some leaves. Um, this is going to be another project. This is going to be you know a big garden and there's going to be a nice walk walking path that goes up to there. And, but that's later. That's still not today. Today, I am going to do some terraforming, though. But that is basically going to be outside. So, let me go to where I want to... I'm going to go outside and show you guys what I kind of want to work on. Okay, so I'm over here behind the mini putt and kind of behind the book library. Which I should show you this actually really quick. I'm sorry about this, guys. I know it's been like 10 minutes and I haven't actually really done anything yet. Um, but, yeah, here's what it's up to. You can see I'm just kind of missing this last little bit of the wall there. But most of the library is actually pretty much full with books now. I don't have enough glowstone yet, so I have to go get some more of that. It uh, works out pretty well with the mob grinder, though, I guess, because uh, there's witches that fall and they drop a lot of glowstone. So if I don't pay attention, if, if I go back, like, very rarely, I might have, like, a stack of glowstone I can use or something. And that, that would, it's just so much easier. But, uh, yeah, that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're going to do some terraforming. Um, this is a spot that I've talked about, I talked about a long time ago, basically. Uh, there's actually two, sort of. There's this over here, behind the library. You can see there's kind of, oop, well there's a creeper. Let's get rid of him. Alright, so there's this kind of like pond area. 
And whoa, you can see see the lag that, that just that one building causes? Like, it's so bad, and then you look over here and it's great. Unbelievable, so I, I can't wait till that's fixed. Also, don't mind that floating tree. I thought I got rid of it earlier. Maybe not, though. I'll worry about it later. <laughs> um, you can see there's already kind of a nice little river that goes through here, and if I take out my map, it's, it's a little hard to see. But you can see where I am. There's a tiny, thin river running through there. And that's kind of one of the things that I'd like to have done. Um, it does lead, basically, one of them leads to the jungle and out into larger open waters. Which is that one, and it's great. Uh, the second one, actually, if you can see, too, it cuts through the whole snow biome. And goes right out into the, the water and connects to another one, connecting to the plains biome, which is right, you know, I could pretty much get to the rest of the world through that and it would be so much easier taking a boat than having to run across the land at least until I get a horses which is kind of why I want to even get over there because I have spent so many time so much time just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for horses to spawn sometimes 45 minutes and not a single horse spawn so it's a very difficult thing I have to try and kill lots of my villagers off and do all that stuff so I can actually get them to spawn but apparently with the new fixes other than the fact that pistons are broken right now and you can crash your game by breaking uh item frames that have maps on them things like that even dispensers too like i try and place a dispenser up when i did the water thing and it just didn't work i had to surround it completely with blocks so that the only direction that it could dispense was up and then it worked fine um but yeah this here i really like how this goes like it's been a cool little river that I kind of wanted to take advantage of for a long time, but I knew that it would be a lot of work to make this wider and, you know, fix it all up nicely. Like, most of it's already pretty much done, and it looks pretty decent already. It's deep enough for a boat. Certainly need to make it a little wider. I will have to watch for water freezing, too. That'll be one thing, but I can probably incorporate some sort of lights everywhere. But if I actually walk through this, I will be able to get all the way to the other side. So, I think this is today's project. I would like to improve the look of this place and actually make it wide enough, hopefully at least all the way to the end, and yeah, give me a chance to get a nice boat spot. I may actually even, since I'm going to have to make it wider over here, I'm thinking that if I made some sort of staircase or a platform that you could walk down into like this hole, I can make it a lot bigger, and like I gotta be careful though because the it's going to come out to here with the mini putt, so I can't really go past this. I can go over here, though. So if I make, I should say, if I make this spot a lot bigger, I can make this a big pond. Uh, I can probably set up some sort of thing that I walk up to it and a boat pops up out of the water. I can jump in it and start to go on my journey. And same thing at the other end with the new, dis or with the new hoppers, you can probably uh, jump off of it and let it fall in or something. I don't know. Or, or they'll just stay there because I don't think they despawn either. So, um, I'm going to try and... I guess I want to clear out this area. And I got to... The biggest thing is to connect this path here to the water. The rest is already all water the whole way. Uh, most of it just has to get widened. So, what are we going to use? Lots of TNT because that's one amazing thing. Now that I've got that mob grinder, it's kind of like... There's a lot more opportunities for me in this world, I find. I can do a lot more stuff. Uh, things are so much easier to do, not having to worry about that. Like, you know, I want to make a big hole. I'm going to make a big hole. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually almost perfect. I know that they're kind of, there's probably a bit of holes underneath here anyways, because I think this goes down into a cave. Yeah, this goes down into one of the caves. So that, that has, I should probably I should check that too, because the mobs, they don't spawn as quick, but then I filled up a couple more caves that were under, right underneath it, that I didn't even know about. And uh, mobs were like spawning twice as fast. It was just, it was so nice. And oh my god, this is actually quite a bit of iron right here. Oh, nice. Never have too much. That's one thing. One of them, I would love to have an iron farm. I think that would be probably one of the most useful things. Uh, along with ender pearls, because I actually really like using ender pearls now that I have more of them. Um, since, like, the farm doesn't keep the endermen in it, and that's kind of a small problem, but... I've kind of thought that, I know that they can spawn 32 blocks, and I was wondering, like, I, I don't really like that, you know, the whole spot over there is now grass. The original reason I did that was to see if I could get um, horses to spawn close to my base if I made my own plains biome. And I did that because I went out into the ocean, and I, plant, I put a whole bunch of dirt, and it all grew, and it grew into the same kind of grass that you have in plains biomes. 
And I was like, oh, well, it should work fine. But no, no horses still haven't even spawned yet. So I'm not sure what you have to do about that. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'd like to tear out some of it. And you know the path, the wooden path that goes out to the dock? I'd kind of like to recreate that wooden path, but going to the mob grinder. And I think it would look cool if it kind of just, uh, you'd walk onto it, go up like a step or two, walk, you know, a block or so above the water, and then go along and it just connect like that. So it's a little bridge floating above the water instead of being, you know, it would look like it's kind of floating out in the ocean, or it's the big pillar coming out of the bottom of the ocean. I think that would look not too bad. But, uh, yeah, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't even be too much work. Like, now with all the... I actually spent so many hours. Like, this is the reason I don't release too many videos sometimes, is, you know, um, it's really just because I'm working on stuff. Like, I'm not going to spend five hours making you guys watch me replace every single thing in the storage room, basically. So, which actually took hours. I think I spent four or five, maybe even six hours taking everything in my chests and putting everything in the storage room. Checking, uh, putting all the signs up, putting all the item frames up. Every time, like, it would freeze, you know? You have to do it, some stuff over again, so I had to make sure the habit of saving it more often and things like that. It just got so irritating, but it's done. <laughs> and now I have a place to put my stuff, but I don't... Oh, yeah, it's true, I can't blow up TNT. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay, because this is really, like, that might be a little deep, but I don't know if you'll really notice it once it's filled up with water, so. Um, I do have to admit, like, this, like, I've wanted to do this for a while, but what's really encouraged me is, again, watching Ethel's Lab, I know I probably talked about him a lot, but he is a, he really is a great Minecrafter. Um, him and Seth Bling, like, Seth Bling comes up with some crazy uh, Minecraft, like, games, things like that. Same thing with Ethel. Uh, but he makes some really amazing, like, beautiful-looking projects. And he can he can terraform land, and he can build buildings, and, you know, he spends time and works on them. So, th this is where my inspiration really came to, like, I wanted to do it before, but now I really want to do it because I can see, I've seen what it can do, uh, the improvements that it, like, for the world itself. And, you know, it's just about time that I did it. And with all the access, like I say, to the TNT and everything... It's so much easier to do this now. Um, I do, of course, need some more ice because that's the best way to go around and place it. Um, I've seen that if you place them like diagonally and stuff, you can actually break them and, in a certain way. And it just basically fills up the ground flat just like, like it is right now. <clears throat> Instead of using so many buckets of water and stuff like that. So I figured that would be a nice, easy way to do it. Um, so I'm going to have to try that too. But I'm wondering if I'm... I'm not going to sit here and make you watch any more of this. You guys kind of get the basic idea of what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to go ahead and break out everything. I'm going to go all the way to the other side with my TNT. Probably end up using the whole stack. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like afterwards. And then we're going to go ahead and probably fill it up. Maybe add some fancy things and make it look real nice. And it's actually kind of perfect timing. Night time's coming out. So uh, yeah, I'll be back when this is all widened out kind of like this. And I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay guys, so I have no ice, kind of sucks, no, nothing with any silk touch, so, no books even, really, so, uh, I'm gonna try and take a chance here, and we'll see if we can get some silk touch on this pickaxe, I know it's broken, but it should do the job, and, huh, it's absolutely amazing, but it's not silk touch, so, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain. Fortune three on breaking three and efficiency four. That's fine with me. Probably should have done it before, but I can always just get some more diamond pickaxes and repair them. So let's go ahead and instead use some water buckets. And I'm actually let's go show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're over here now. Kind of accidentally blew up a tree, but I figured it would be cool instead. I realized like I can connect 
it's not too far and it kind of worked out perfect so I'm actually going to connect both of them together it doesn't really I don't think it makes a difference on the map right now but I'm sure once all of that is actually filled up with blue instead it should work pretty good the other problem is that's right above so the map is kind of looking more at the sky wars it's way up in the air there apparently a sheep died here I guess <laughs> um but yeah, I like how the TNT did it. It's pretty random, so it looks a lot better than if I went around and did it, because there's not a chance that I could sit there and meticulously carve it out super nice and everything. So all I got to really do now is go along and fill it all up. Like you can see the big areas like this. I'm going to make it just so it's perfectly level like this. You can go through it no problem, because the water is kind of ridiculous when it's like that, and it'll drag you around everywhere. Like, this spot here didn't really have to do too much. Um, I will have to add lights and things because you can see if it keeps freezing, like, it's just going to keep closing off all of my spots that I can go through. So hopefully I'll be able to add some lights underwater somewhere uh, or, you know, figure out something for it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it all up with water and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, so there's been a little bit of a difficulty so far and it's taken a little while. I just thought I'd update you that if you decide to ever do this, um, make it one deep for now and dig the rest out later because filling up water buckets like this and trying to fill up a hole that's like four or five blocks deep just doesn't seem to work real well. So I think I'm going to make it one deep and then I'm going to go along probably dig it out a second layer later because yeah, it's just so much easier because trying to fill these holes is just insane and it's taking a super long time. Uh, I just thought I'd update you guys, though, just to let you know. Don't do my idea. That's It's really dumb. Don't try it. <laughs> so I'll be back, though, when this is all finished. As you can see, I've actually, well, you know, it's been 20 minutes or more. I have made progress. I did connect all this, and it's all, well, it's all s solid water now, but, you know, it's freezing. So that'll be uh, later on. i got to, you know, figure out some way to light everything and melt all the ice and make it look real cool. Maybe just fill the whole bottom with lights or pumpkins or something. Something to keep it from freezing solid. But yeah, okay, I'll be back again when I've actually, you know, finished this like five days later. <laughs> okay, everyone. So it's actually all filled up now. Uh, obviously, there's got to be a little bit of work done here. Probably bring it out a little bit more and I want to build a dock and everything. But all the water isn't at least filled in now. It did take a little while. Um... When I said five days, though, I didn't think that it would literally almost take five days to make this video. Uh, just for the reason that um, after I did this, there was announcements for snow because I live in Canada. And uh, we got snow. Lots and lots and lots of snow. Since January 29th, we've actually had about, I think it's they said 220 centimeters or 250 centimeters of snow. I'm not sure what that is in inches, sorry. Uh, you can So go measure that. Go take a measuring tape and measure 220 centimeters of snow. And um, you'll see what we had to deal with over the past, like, couple of days. So I had a lot of fun doing all that shoveling, sort of. Not really, but yeah. Um, so I... Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I wanted to show you guys um, me going around on this, but I guess... You can see so it just keeps freezing over, so I, obviously I haven't installed any of the the lights or anything in, but it, it's looking way better. Um, it's nice to have the river. I'll show you quick too. Like it, it actually does show up now on the map. Like You can see how much wider it looks the whole way, and it makes it really great. I haven't worked on the other one. That'll be another project that I'll do like off camera and stuff. Um, I just quick before, you know, I didn't just want to end it like this. Um, I will add lights on my own time. And I figured, though, you know, I want it to look a little bit better, and what better way than just to walk around and put a whole bunch of bone meal everywhere and hope, you know, add some grass, and hopefully some flowers will show up. But it'll make it look a little bit less bare. I don't mind right here. I kind of have an idea, so I'm going to back up here a little bit. I don't really mind how that looks right now. Like I said, I'm not, I cannot go past this line here because of the mini putt. But I figured that if the mini putt doesn't get too far, like a nice bridge or something would be cool to go across over top. But that that's possible. I'm not sure. I I might do it, I might not, depending on, you know, what the mini putt eventually looks like. So, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to probably just go bone meal the whole side of the mountain the whole way along. We'll go take a nice walk and see how it looks after with a whole bunch more flowers and everything. 
And again, one day all these torches will be gone because torches are not as nice as everything else. So, yeah. The only problem too, snow. So much snow and you cannot place any... Like, you can't go and bone meal snow. So you kind of just have to... I'll probably have to shovel most of that out of the way. I'm kind of getting tired of snow, but eh, whatever, I guess. I guess I gotta, gotta deal with it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this area just a little bit brighter, a little bit nicer, a little bit more colorful. So, I will be back when that is all finished. So, everyone, after about, I'd say, two hours or two and a half, possibly three, um... All of this grass is well, most okay. There's like a little patches of snow, maybe one or two little pieces, has all been replaced by some lovely grass, and I think it looks a lot better. I don't know, it just it just adds something to it, changes it up quite a bit, and makes it look a lot better. I did plant a couple of trees around that should grow eventually. Um, one thing I'm gonna have to do some research because like, I have land, I have uh, pumpkins at the moment. Maybe it's because they're underwater, I don't know, but they're still ice. Like, it uh, doesn't, doesn't seem to really matter, like, or it's like this, I guess, and it just, it, it can only do, like, a three-block area, which would kind of suck, because then that would mean that I'd need tons and tons and tons of them, because there's some spots that are just so filled with ice. Like, during the time, even that I was uh, working on this, there's a lot of patches that have actually completely blocked over, like, I think that one right there yeah see this like i have pumpkins i got one there i got one there i got one there and there's still ice here and one there so i'm not sure i'm probably gonna you know still leave pumpkins and stuff because i don't mind it looks cool with the, the lights underwater oh man it's getting nighttime <laughs> of course i had to pick the the worst time to do this um hope you guys can still see yeah okay i'm gonna go out to where it ends now you can see this whole thing like i said is this was all snow before up until um pretty much right at the end when I start to actually get towards the plains biome and then it kind of ended and it stopped being so much snow but it still took a long time you can see it's all the way up there I didn't go super crazy you know I don't mind a little bit of grass at the bottom some snow up top it kind of makes it look a little bit better and I don't know add something so uh, these cliffs most of these are all pretty natural like I didn't make those perfectly straight so I didn't dig any of that out so I figured I would leave most of the stuff natural so it would look, it would look good. Because I don't know, like, if I cleared it out myself, it wouldn't look probably as, as nice for sure. Um, oh, oh, nope. Ah, seriously? Oh, man. Alright, let me fix this. <sighs> okay, see, that's one problem with the nighttime thing. Um, one good thing, though, I noticed was... Uh, the fact that I was going along so slowly, like, what I'd have to do is, you know, I'd go up a couple of blocks and I'd get rid of all the snow. And then I'd go back over and use all the bone meal to turn it into grass. One good thing I found is, like, I've had such a hard time getting um, passive mobs to spawn out in this area. Like, you can see regular mobs, no problem. They will always spawn here. Um, apparently, the... The chunk in which you spawn originally is always loaded. So any mobs or any passive mobs around there are taking up spawning spaces. Um, I tried to kill as many as I could. And while I was walking up and down here, pigs were starting to spawn. I even saw a sheep or two over in the plains biome, which is something that just, it, it just didn't happen before. Which is giving me the hope that possibly, if I do end up killing enough of them, that I can have maybe a horse and I know they've you know there's been some updates since I did try and go last time and get a horse and uh, they say that now if you actually do get a horse um, it will stay uh, last time I had the problem that I wanted to test it out so I grabbed a horse I found one after like it was like three hours or something I sat in the same spot waiting for one to spawn kind of stupid but I guess it would be worth it if I actually successfully had a horse um, but when I brought him back to base, everything seemed to be okay. I tied him even with a lead to a post, put him in a fenced-in area. Basically, you walk 20 or so blocks away, and I, 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 like, I turned around, and he was gone. So that was no good. Oh, <sighs> why? 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 I shouldn't be out right now. It's nighttime, and it's not working. I hate this. God damn. And these skeletons have been driving me nuts. 
If you are in the water, it seems like it's impossible to get anywhere. They just keep knocking you farther and farther than you can possibly swim. So I'm going to kill this guy. And I'm going to come back because this is annoying. Let me let me change it to daytime and I'm going to go grab a saddle and let's quickly see if we can go get a horse because I don't want to take up tons of time in this video. Uh, it's already kind of getting pretty long and this is kind of mostly what I wanted to have done anyways was finally set up a nice river. Well, you know, minus all the ice and stuff. But it, it is pretty cool. So let me go uh, change it to daytime. We'll take a, another quick look over and we'll see if we can get some horses real fast. And then I think that'll be the end of it, guys. Okay, finally. It, it's daytime now and I don't see too many passive mobs around here, luckily. So I'm going to kind of leave quick. I'm going to run as fast as I can, kill all the mobs that I see on the way. I've killed like... One or two really useless villagers, kept some of the good ones. Um, hopefully that will take down the spawn limit as well. And if all goes well, there will hopefully be horses. Uh, you can see pigs and stuff are spawning out this way. And as I went farther and farther, they spawn more and more. Which seems, you know, like a normal thing in Minecraft. You know, if you're in one area long enough, things will spawn. But, like I said, the only problem was whenever I did try and go into the plains biome, nothing spawns. Nothing at all. There's no pigs, no sheep, no nothing. I can stand there forever. Nothing would ever show up. Just too many other spawning, I guess, spots have been taken up by other mobs. So, I'm hoping that with the reduced number of cows that I have now, as I have basically finished the library, which is pretty cool. I'm only missing, I think, two bookshelves, really, to finish it, and that'll I'll show you guys that uh, probably next next episode real quick although I showed it to you last episode too and it was you know it was almost done but basically just imagine it completely finished now oh, all these sheep oh good I do have some arrows maybe I'll just kind of knock some of these guys off but here yeah let me uh, come back when I'm actually at the uh, plains biome well it wasn't very far from the plains biome uh, you can see this is kind of what it looks like once you've actually gone through the little river and you come out into here. It's nice and wide open, all sorts of water. I think it looks pretty cool. Nice. I like the fact that I've kind of got lucky and there's a big plains biome like, like this in the area. Otherwise, I don't know if I would have had as much luck, or any luck, really, finding a horse. So, since, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, um, trying to build my own plains biome just, it didn't seem to really work too well. So... Yeah, hopefully things will spawn, but you can see, like, there were sheep and stuff spawning right over there. Look, oh, wait, here's a cow. Oh, my God, this is a good sign. This is a great sign because, like I'm telling you guys, I could have stood right here in this very spot, and that cow normally would have never even shown up. But now he showed up, and I'm going to kill him. So I'm just going to run around here, I guess, for a little while. Actually, probably a really long while. Run around and around and around until... Hopefully a horse spawns, and if I get a horse, guys, I'll show you. Oh my god, guys. Look what I see. I've been walking around for around 30 or 40 minutes now. Just came over this hill, and it looks like there's just one now. Although I just noticed the grass is like the slightest little difference right here. Here. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe just this tiny area is a plains biome. But he's tiny. Um, oh man, I need to feed him wheat or something though, because he's not going to... What can you feed them? Can you feed them seeds or anything? No, he doesn't like that. Okay. Um, oh man, I don't want it. <laughs> there's, there's wheat over at that village over there, but kind of worried that if I run over there and come back he's not going to be here and I'm not going to look for another half an hour I don't know why I didn't think of that uh, uh, let's take a chance let's take a big chance and hope that it's it, he will stay because oh man that would be amazing actually after that even let's just hope that he stays spawned like I don't want to have to bring him back to my base, put a saddle on him, put him in the thing, put him in a behind a fence, I should say, and put a lead on him, and then nothing. And see, I don't understand this. Um, five minutes ago, nothing was spawning, like the occasional pig, maybe this and that, and all of a sudden, there's like 
tons of sheep and pigs everywhere, and I have no idea why. All I did was walk over there. Um, I'm no expert, of course, though, with uh, how spawns and stuff work. So let's... Oh, God. I'm, I'm so worried now. Um, come on. Okay. Give me all this lovely wheat. Let's make this guy grow up a little bit. Uh, there's no more villagers in this village. They all, unfortunately, have died. So nobody will be um, maintaining these, I guess. But uh, that's okay, because I have my own villagers, as you guys all know. So let's get back over there, kill all these lovely sheep, and hopefully, oh, hopefully he will have stayed. If not, I'll just keep walking around, but now I know I have wheat on me at least, just in case. I have no idea what kind, oh, he stayed. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Would you like some wheat? Hello, Mr. Horse, you are quite big now. All right. Um, let's see, would would you mind if I, if I tried to tame you? Really? First try, too. Oh, that's cool. Um, here, let's put a saddle on you. Yes! <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. This is definitely, oh, I'm so happy now. <laughs> I was like, this, this made all of that work and walking over here and Everything is worth it now, just just because of the fact that I have this horse now. But it, it's n not safe yet because oh, I'm I'm still worried that if I do bring him back to my base and put him behind a fence, that he will despawn. They say it's been fixed, but who knows, right? And if at, at least if I can get um two, if I can get this guy to stay though, that means that I have the chance to leave him at my base. I can go try and find a second horse. And that I can breed them, but of course, that's going to require a me to build the stable. So that'll probably be another video too. Is um, myself, I'll be building a nice stable area to actually keep these guys. And I'll definitely be taking more time. I want to make it look really nice. I got to find a good area for it. Obviously, nowhere near my chest over there. I, actually, I should say storage room because if I say chest, people might think I'm crazy. But it. Actually, I'm saying that, whoa, don't drop too far, buddy. I don't want to hurt you. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, it's sweet. How high do you jump? Pretty high. High enough, I guess. Good enough. You're a horse. I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry. What I mean is um, it literally looks, my storage room literally looks like a chest. I'm sorry for the lag, too. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what I mean by the chest. So, oh, God. <laughs> Let's, um, well, I guess let's leave this guy in here. Actually, let's put him inside. Come on, let's go. Come on, can't fit through there? I guess not. All right, let's try the door. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Because they say he has to be in a fenced-in area. So if I take him in... Come on, I want to get in. How do you hop? Okay, I was going to say, how do you hop off for a second? But now I remember. All right. Will you stay? That's the question. That is the million dollar question for this guy. He seems comfortable. He's eating some grass right away. Let's uh, go about... Well, actually, to be honest with you guys, last time, um, I put him right here in this spot. I just kind of left him roam here. I walked outside of my barn, turned around, and he was gone. So let's take a chance. Let's go this way. Let's let's not look. This 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 could hurt. I I, I don't know. I don't want him to despawn. Oh god, he's still there. Please stay. Please stay. I've been wanting a horse for so long. I've had to wait so many hours of killing mobs and killing sheep and pigs and wandering around that place so many times only to have them glitch and disappear and to oh what a horrible horrible thing it was so this should technically be far enough if i'm 25 blocks or more 30 blocks or more he should despawn so this will be the moment of truth if i open this door and he's gone damn i guess it's not been fixed but if i open the door and he's there great and he's there. Oh my god. So I think it's been fixed, guys. I 
think that they've actually fixed the horses will stay now. Oh my god. Let's, that's not to say that when I log off and log back on, it won't. he won't just disappear or if I go 100 or 200 blocks away. But, oh man, that's great. I'm so happy now. I've got a nice river going. I've got it set up right to the to the plains biome, which means that after this video, guys, I'm going to go get some more horses. For sure. I'll leave that guy in here. It'll be a good test if I can go a couple hundred blocks away, obviously, if it gets pretty far to the plains biome. So if I can take that whole nice new river that you see there, nice and wide now too, and it's very clearly visible compared to before. Um, but yeah, if he stays here, that's going to be amazing. I will have horses. Um, it's going to open up a whole new world of opportunity. I will be able to travel the world so much faster. I will definitely make a video spending some time building a nice stable. You know, of course, I'll put some hay in it. I'm going to have each of the stalls set up. Um, as you saw in the, the Ender Trials, uh, Dylan has made a... Or Refreshing Games um, has made like a, a testing area for horses, and I think that's something that I'm going to build beside the stable, something that I can, you know, figure out which are the best horses and slowly over time breed the best ones. I know it's not the best. You don't have an amazing chance, but there is a chance that you can constantly increase um, the abilities of your horses, which would be great. I could have horses that are faster or stronger. Uh, I might have mules spawn in. I haven't actually seen any because that's the first horse that I've really had that shown up and stayed, so... Uh, it'll be a test after to figure out if you will stay. I've also been curious about that. Sometimes I press the buttons on my doors and it opens. Like, that's normal. But sometimes I open it and then it just kind of opens and closes immediately. And, like, I don't even touch anything, so I don't know what that's all about. But I'm kind of rambling here, guys. I'm sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed... I, or I think I'm going to end it here. Um, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed getting to see me add in the nice new river. It's going to be so much easier to get around. I'm going to go look up to some easy ways to get rid of the ice. Like, I don't want to be placing torches everywhere because I'm trying to get rid of all the torches. Obviously a little difficult at the moment, but as I expand farther and farther out with my world, I will start replacing things with either pumpkins. Like, I like the pumpkins in the mini putt. It doesn't bother me at all. Out here, you know, all the nice glowstone. I'll probably set up a nicer pattern at some point, too, if I can. Oh, my God, the lag is killing me. <laughs> um, But, yeah. Just one more awesome thing to add to the world. Got so many cool things for now. But there's an entire map out there to, to build. And when I move up to the Xbox One version, uh, apparently it's going to get like 36 times bigger. So I'm going to need like 36 of these maps or something ridiculous. So that'll be amazing. I'm not going to explore all the areas because I do know from the computer version there's going to be all sorts of new biomes eventually, taiga biomes and things like that. Like people are always wondering what's going to be coming out. Really guys, I suggest like what I did is basically I just went and looked it up. Like I went and I said what version are we at now with the Xbox? What options do we have and what can we expect to see in the future? Because it's basically just they're taking the PC updates and putting them on the Xbox. So in the future, you can expect to definitely see, like, taiga biomes, and there's packed ice biomes, like ice that doesn't melt, and it's just, just oh, there's so many cool things that are be coming out, and I just cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. So, thank you again all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.